Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another spell for you guys. I am in the process of doing a love working for a client of mine, and we are dealing with an extremely dominant, prideful woman. So this spell is for those of you guys that are dealing with someone that is extremely prideful, extremely like ego is huge for them. Pride is very much in the way and you're trying to make them have communication contact or to open up and you just don't know how to do it because they are very ego based. This spell is particularly for you. So without further ado, let's get into the spell work. Welcome back, my lovelies. Here we are doing another spell for you guys, like I had mentioned. Um, a lot of the times, if you are doing working for a relationship, a partner, or even people around you or people that you work with, uh, and it just seems like not the spell work doesn't really stick on them, a lot of the times is because they could be extremely strong-minded. Uh, these are people that are very connected to ego and pride. And though they may be influenced uh, very temporarily with spell work, you have to work on their weaknesses in order to break it down and for it to have its most potent or its most highest uh, result that you can experience. So we are working here with, like I mentioned, um, someone that is extremely stubborn, someone that is very ego-based and selfish and um, maybe even has a bit of narcissistic tendencies. Now, sometimes when we're dealing with people like this, it's very difficult for them to see their wrongdoing, to see what they're doing wrong. They're very quick to put the blame on you or to make you feel like you're the one that is not, you know, doing what they're supposed to do in the relationship, in the connection, or like I said, even with an employer, someone that you just feel like, they dislike you and you just can't put your finger on it, you have to break down their shield. And the way to do this is, again, working on their weaknesses, which obviously we know that this person is very stubborn and ego-based. So this spell is exactly to do that, to disarm them, to disarm their ego, the shield that they're carrying. Um, like I said, you don't necessarily have to do this for a love partner, however, um, more than likely it is done for love workings. Before doing any type of love work uh, and you're dealing with the person that is extremely stubborn, you wanna break down their shield so that you can be able to really penetrate them and influence them through the means of spell work. Now, before we get into the ingredients, it's gonna be very important for you guys to light a protective candle, okay? As you guys know, this is something that I always tell you, regardless of the type of uh, working that you're doing, it is always crucial and important to maintain your ward of protections, to maintain um, your protection shield. And of course, uh, specific candles are specifically for that, to create the, the wall of protection for yourself and your uh, spiritual uh, triangle of protection. So without further ado, go ahead and light that. Make sure that you are protected or light your candle, whichever candle you have charged with the intentions of protection. All right, so let's get to the needy greedy. Let's get with the ingredients, what you're going to need. As you guys can see here, it is very simplistic. All you need is a red permanent marker. You need some white vinegar. No, you cannot use apple cider vinegar. You cannot use any type of vinegar other than um, the white vinegar, okay? Why? Because of its purity properties. Um, we want it to completely break down their ego and pride. And the easiest route to do that, I have found that it is through white vinegar. So that's what you're going to be using. As you guys can see here, it could be any type of brand. It does not matter. I have it in this container because we charge it, obviously, and work it uh, before our workings. Anyways, you're going to also need a bell, any type of bell that is going to assist you in raising the vibration and setting the intention. Now, you're going to need one garlic teeth, as you guys can see here. Um, you're going to be needing a jar with a lid. Doesn't have to be uh, doesn't have to be glass. It could be uh, plastic. It does not matter. 
just make sure that when this spell work is done, you're going to keep it in a dark place where it's going to be untouched for the next coming seven days. Okay. Very important. All right, my lovely. So let's get to the nitty gritty of this. As you guys can see, it is very simplistic. You probably have all these ingredients at home. Um, also, I do want to mention for those of you guys that are interested in spell work or personal consultations, you can find the link in my description box below as well as on a, or any social media for that matter. Make sure that if you guys are following me on social media, you guys are following the social medias that are attached to my YouTube account as we have tons and tons of scammers out there. Uh, in regards to spell work, I have been uh, when we open calendar, I'm usually only available to actually get uh, two to three cases to pick up a month only because we have so much work, um, but glad and thankfully we have caught up. So we are taking more than 10 cases per month. So again, like I said, if you guys are interested in any of that spell work, anything uh, with consultations, you guys can look at the link below. Uh, go shop online and you'll be able to find our services on there. All right. All right. Let's get to the nitty gritty. So what you're going to need is you're going to, oh, I forgot to mention, you're also going to be needing a needle with a black, um, with the black string, black thread. Uh, it is very important. And it is part of the process. I forgot to mention that you guys, sorry. Okay. So let's get to the nitty gritty. What we're gonna do here is you're going to get, like I said, you only need one teeth of garlic and obviously you're going to peel it. By the way, you guys, if you didn't know, you can save the garlic peels and you can actually use that to incorporate it into protection spells or protection powders, which is what we do. So I'm gonna set these uh, to the side because you know, we, love to incorporate everything that is natural and that is enhanced in our rituals for the preparation of our powders and our candles so i'm going to put be putting that to the side before we begin because well intention is everything right and i'm not trying to put intention into these garlic peels all right so i'm just peeling it what you're going to do is like you're seeing here you're going to be peeling the garlic head you want the shiny part right because we're going to be writing down their name and any of their personal information okay all right so it's going to look something like this it is now peeled it's a pretty big one which is good all right let me move this to the side so that i can be able to get All right, let me get these garlic peels and put them to the side because we don't waste anything here and we we love a smart queen, right? <laughs> All right, so once that is done and you have the garlic ready, what you're going to do is you're going to be writing down with the red marker. You're going to write down their first name, their last name. Their last name. And their d date of birth, D-O-B. All right, so it's going to look something like this. I'm not sure if you guys can see their first name, last name, and date of birth. Now, if you don't know their date of birth, that is absolutely okay. You do need, however, their first and last name. Now, if you know this person by a nickname or they have multiple nicknames, then I would encourage you, instead of the date of birth, to put their nicknames on here as well, okay? Once that is done, what you're going to do now is you are going to hold a string Okay, you're going to hold the string and hold it tightly, putting the intention that as the needle pierces the garlic, you're also piercing their stubbornness, their ego, and their pride. You are disarming them. You are overpowering them. They will come crawling. 
they will come begging. There is no ego and no pride. As with the needle, I pierce your head and then you go like this. I pierce your mind I break down your pride I break down your ego when you're doing this you guys put all your energy and focus into it really feel this is a perfect time for you to remember everything they've done and the fact that they've been holding back because they think they're the shit. They think they are stronger than you. They think that they have the upper hand and that is not so. So you want to put all that energy into when doing this. Very crucial and very important. If you're focused and you are determined and you are strong and confident in yourself and in what you're doing, you're going to get amazing results, okay? So again, I pierce your heart. I pierce your mind. I break down your ego. I break down your pride. You will be at my feet. Everything I say, everything I do, So it is, all right? Once you've done, as you guys can see here, once you've done that, what you're gonna do is you're going to go ahead and cut it. Leave a bit of string behind so that you can tie some knots. Right, give me one second. All right, so. As you guys can see here, you're going to do three knots. So when you're doing this, again, put the intention. I am piercing your mind. I am piercing your head. I am piercing your heart. I'm breaking down your ego and your pride, your stubbornness, your selfishness. I overpower you now. You will come crawling. You will come begging. All right. And it is done. Now, if you are particularly doing this for, as an example, if you have a employer that is a pain in the ass and they are strict and they are just so anal about everything, they pick at you, they bully you, whatever the situation is, instead of saying, you know, you'll come crawling or stuff like that, what you're going to say is you are under my dominions. You are under my command. Everything I say, everything I mention, everything I bring as a solution, you will see it as the best idea. You will see it as an amazing resolution. Everything I do, everything I say, you will be impressed by, okay? Once that is done, it should look something like this. Now I'm just doing this for showing purposes, you guys. So I'm gonna get the real one right here. And what you're gonna do now is you're going to put it in the container, in the jar, all right? So it's gonna look something like that. Don't really wanna get it close so you guys can see the name, but basically it's gonna look like this. You're gonna put it in the container, all right? Once that is done, what you're going to do now is you're going to pour the vinegar, okay? Until it is completely submerged so it's gonna look something like this all right so once that is done what we're gonna do now is we're going to get our we're gonna get our bell 
give me one second. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate. All right, so once that is done, what we're going to do now is we're going to get the candle and we're going to go the top, the bottom, left, right. Then you're going to put your hands over the container. And you're going to say... I call upon the spirits, the spirits of dominions. I ask you to assist me and empower and strengthen the spell that is about to commence. Allow me to overpower their mind, their spirit, their heart, their ego. Allow me to humble them. Allow me to have dominions over their thoughts over their person and over their actions bring them completely submitted to me allow me to have the upper hand allow me to overpower night day dusk till dawn as within so without as above so below let the spell commence its course And so it is. Once you're done with that, what you're going to do now is you're going to cover it. You're going to put this in a dark place. You could put it in your altar. You could put it underneath your altar. You could put it under your bed. You could put it in your closet. It doesn't matter. But make sure that the light does not hit it, the natural light. Make sure that you keep it in a dark place and you're going to keep it there for seven days. Now, through these seven days, you will start to notice that this person starts to come to you in a much more loving and submissive way, even if that is not their natural, their natural character, even if that's not their natural way of being. They become more um, inclined to want to do whatever makes you or whatever makes you happy, whatever accommodates you. You will start to notice that they seem to go above and beyond to try to prove themselves worthy for you. Uh, if you're doing this for a work situation or an employer, as an example, you'll start to notice that they usually go to you to ask for advice, maybe even uh, oversharing a little bit too much, even to oversharing about their personal business, because they will naturally start to feel at ease around you. They will naturally feel very pulled towards you like they can trust you. Now, whether you get a, a bit of a, a dirt on them or not is of your choosing. But ultimately, know and understand that this spell is not precisely or completely to have someone as a puppet. It has more to do with humility. It has more to do with reciprocation or teaching them a lesson of being uh, much more inclined to reciprocate the energy that you put. As always, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed like, share, and comment. If you do try this, definitely come back and let me know how it went. After the seven days are done, you can dispose of it. Um, my advice would be to keep it in your altar. Uh, if in the seventh day you don't see any movement, you don't see any progress, keep it up, to, up until 15 days. After the 15 days, like I said, if you do this with intention and focus, you will definitely see results within the time frame of three to seven days. Um, if you don't, like I said, and you prolong it to 15 days, after those 15 days, if it hasn't uh, manifested for you, then more than likely your energy was off or you weren't focused completely or perhaps you went into the spell work feeling a bit depleted, a bit um, like you weren't in control of the situation. And if that's the case, you can remove all of the ingredients, get rid of them and recast the spell. Um, be patient and as always, uh, focus and grounding yourself before doing the spell work. You guys will definitely see results. All right, my lovelies, I wish you guys the very best. Until then, we'll see each other soon. Bye.